Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Cole Banker, Ronan Realty, here to go over the market stats for November of 2022. As you can see, we're nearing Christmas, we're nearing the end of the year, and what a year it's been, honestly. Some ups and downs, some goods and bads, obviously sellers were winning at the start of the year, buyers are winning at the end. But we're going to dive into the numbers, take a look at everything, see what each market's doing individually on a month over month basis. I'm going to be releasing another video in the next coming weeks here showing you the year over year comparison just so you can get a recap and see what the years have done. So, and at the very end, I'm gonna do my takeaway and then what my predictions are, I think for the next probably like 60 to 90 days, just so you can kind of get a gauge on what I think the market's gonna be. Again, don't have a crystal ball, but I'll give you my educated opinion based on all the statistics. So let's dive into the numbers. As we look over to the Clearview market, we saw the average price in October sit around 1.150. We saw that number drop by about 18% month over month into November, sitting around 934,000. Again, same as Agila, similar area in the sense of there are large rural properties. There are some properties too that get closer to the ski hills. So when one of those homes either sell or do not sell, it does have an influx on the month over month pricing. Keep that in mind. We saw 40 new listings in October. We only saw 17 come up in November, and then we had 18 sales in October and 13 in November. Again, less inventory coming to market over these winter months, and again, the prices are starting to drop a little bit more. Good news for buyers out there. Again, opportunity is gonna be there, and we'll cover more at the end of what my takeaway is, but I think there's gonna be, in the next six months, some good opportunities for buyers. All right, guys, that's the market stats for November of 2022. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna do my takeaway now, what I think probably over the next 30 to, 30 to 90 days is what's gonna happen. So in January, we do have another rate increase. So save the date, just like we've done the rest of the year. I'll be doing a video for that, announcing what kind of happens and how it's going to affect you. But I think with that rate increase, we're gonna see prices still dip a little bit more on a month over month basis. But I think we're getting near to the bottom there. So if you're a buyer in this market, I think in the next probably 90 days is going to be your window to lock in, find a property, purchase at a great price, because we are going to see some pent up demand that's going to come through probably in 2024. Again, no crystal ball here, but I think that's what's going to happen because we're still in a housing shortage and we have more inventory, but we still don't have enough inventory. So keep those things in mind. Next 90 days, we're going to see prices dip a little bit. Great opportunity for buyers, sellers, if you're looking at upgrading, it's also gonna be your time to sell. There's gonna be buyers out there looking for deals and that, but there's also gonna be deals available to you as we see interest rates jump up and they are gonna affect people. So buyers and sellers, there's gonna be windows opportunity for both of you. So that's my takeaway. That's what I think the next kind of 60 to 90 days is gonna bring for buyers and sellers. So if you have any questions, all my details are below. If you wanna book a chat with me, there's a link below for that. Take care guys, have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.